So before I start the video, I need to apologize. I said before that I was going to upload a video about the Trump-Biden debate, but things in real life have been a bit hectic lately. I managed to get myself a second job, so that's probably going to delay my videos even further than they normally are. I want to make this one video, and then I want to take a break from the political mob tactics that have been going on for the past 10 months. So, in terms of the first debate, it was a big fiasco to say the least. Yes, they were over-talking and trying to interrupt each other, but unfortunately, that's usually how these things go with the debates in our time. That said though, if all you do is talk, and then you give your floor to someone else, you'll be seen as weak. And people don't want a leader who, who's weak and will give their position over to someone just because they got something else to say. You have to fight to get your words in, and this applies to both sides. When someone says something that contradicts your points, you've got to interrupt them and point out why they're wrong. And usually it's pretty chaotic. And of, and of course, it goes without saying that the moderator in this case, Chris Wallace, definitely wasn't impartial. I also recently learned that he's a registered Democrat, even though he's on Fox News. He was also interrupting President Trump when he was trying to talk, but he never once interrupted Joe Biden. Now to be honest, I've seen people dismiss Fox News in the same way that conservatives, myself included, dismiss CNN. Yes, Fox News used to claim that they were fair and balanced in the past. Yet they still have guys like Tucker Carlson who are staunchly conservative. However, with the infiltration of these rhinos and these so-called Republicans, it's becoming a lot more and more comparable to CNN especially when they bring in all the liberal Democrats who basically just make everything into this big giant debate like what we saw here. Wallace kept trying to get President Trump to denounce what he called a white supremacy, even though President Trump has already done it multiple times. There are videos of him publicly condemning racism, white supremacy, and even went so far as to publicly name the Ku Klux Klan. Now for me personally, I agree. Most sane people will, devout, will disavow racism of any kind. However, in the, same in the same vein, Biden has a public list history of opposing segregation. Uh, desegregation, I mean. Desegregation. His vice president, Kamala Harris, even called him out for it in the past. And yet, when he asked her to be his running mate, she still accepted. I guess she just decided that he wasn't a racist anymore. But anyway, getting back to the so-called debate, Chris Wallace tried to lump in a few other cases with his white supremacy rhetoric. He specifically mentioned the Proud Boys and the incident with Kenosha with Kyle Rittenhouse. So if you don't know who the Proud Boys are, they're those buff guys you see in those videos standing up to Antifa in the liberal cities. There was recently some kind of LGBTQ, uh, and I quote, attack online against them that was led by George Takei, you know, that, that Asian gay actor. He was a big name and I think it was Star Trek or something. But anyway, anyway, uh, they tried to put up uh, pictures of gay men making out and doing things that gay men do. This was supposed to try to attack them and get them pissed off, but Apparently they know that the Proud Boys are actually pro-LGBT. Hell, even their, even their current leader, uh, Enrique Tarrio, he's a gay man himself. But anyway, uh, they've got chapters in every major city, and, you know, and they're, a, they're a really big group. They're also international, in case you were wondering. I'll leave a link to their website down below. But uh, anyway, getting on to Kenosha... They were trying to talk about Kyle Rittenhouse. He was on video defending himself from a group of black thugs who were chasing him, yelling at him. They were trying to beat the hell out of him. If, they, you know, if not worse. From what I've seen and from how far these people have gone, you know, I'm thinking they would have killed him. And that's what he was thinking too. That's why he shot at those people. He didn't shoot them because they were coming towards him. He only started shooting him after they were beating on him. Anyway, I'll leave a, I'll leave the video down below. But anyway, as for the debate, uh, let's see here. 
This honestly, this whole debate is just Trump trying to defend himself from Biden and Wallace, who are trying to hit him from both flanks. Joe Biden was getting emotional a few times, and he was never really answering questions. He was he was just saying, "Look at him, look at what he's done, and I'm gonna fix it. Vote for me." That's really basically all he was saying. He couldn't really answer a question directly. He was just giving some some emotional crocodile tear speech or something but anyway uh, let's see I don't want to say that Trump shouldn't debate I mean some of us don't think he should but you know because of how these things usually go and how chaotic it is and just how how dumb it makes them all look but for some reason, he ended up agreeing anyway. You know, you know, despite how unbalanced things were, he actually agreed to a to a second debate with a with a former Biden staffer as the moderator. Now, I'm not sure what exactly his plan is. Maybe his plan is to is to let himself be attacked by them, so that he can expose how corrupt and how unbi how biased they really are. But anyway, I can't say for sure. Alright, so uh, that's it for now guys. I've got, I've got another video to upload in the meantime. I hope you all stay safe. Take care and God bless you. Later.